we know how we can find the square of a number, we can try to understand what square roots are. This is a topic which many students find really difficult to understand. So here's your chance to understand this topic well and score better. Consider any number, say 4. 4 when squared gives us 16 and the square root of 16 gives us 4. Well, that's your concept. Now we shall see how we represent square roots. This is how we would represent the square of 4. 4 raised to 2, 2 is called the power and 4 is the base. Now how do we represent the square root of 4? Well, this is how we write it. This symbol is called the radical or the square root and the number inside the symbol is called the radicand or the base. That's the first thing we learnt, how to represent a square root. But here's a simple way to remember it. We know that 5 squared is 25. This too, when transposed to the other side, becomes a square root. So we can say that the square root of 25 is 5. Now let's look at something really interesting about the square roots. What's the square root of 16? Yes, it's 4. This means that if we square 4, we will get what is under this radical. Similarly, the square root of 256 is 16. If we square this, we will get this. Now let's try playing with these numbers. Let's try writing 16 in exponential form. We know that 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4. So the square root of 16 can be written as the square root of 2 raised to 4. It's the same thing as the square root of 16. Can it be written in some other way? Yes, it can also be written as square root of 4 raised to 2. We just wrote 16 in two different ways, 2 raised to 4 and 4 raised to 2. Now let's try writing the number 4 in different ways. 4 can be written as 2 squared, hence this will equal 2 squared. The number 4 can also be written as 4 raised to 1, hence this would equal 4 raised to 1. Just look at these things now. What do you observe? What happens to the base and what happens to the exponent? Let's look at the first example. The base remains the same but the exponent is halved. It's divided by 2. Now let's move on to the next expression. Again, the base remains the same and the exponent is halved. Does this work every time? Let's see. This can be written as square root of 2 raised to 8 or maybe even square root of 4 raised to 4. And 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4 and even 4 raised to 2. In this case, the base remained the same and the exponent was halved. And in this case too, the exponent was halved. So remember, when you have a number in exponential form and you want to find its square root, just keep the base same and half the exponent.